Action. What's up, guys? My name's Matt. My name is Jeremy. We are the West Texas Beard Crew. You yeah. haven't seen y'all in a while. Y'all haven't seen us. Where have y'all been? Where have we been? We've been busy. Been real busy. Uh, let's start off with a little good old. Drakeski. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's way too much. It's only a shot glass. That's, that's a <laughs> coffee cup. <laughs> it's okay. What are you it's, talking about? It's, it's good old Jack. <laughs> so. Better channel. If y'all are new here, thanks for stopping and, and watching this video. Uh, we like to talk about anything and all things beard related, review and give our honest opinion on different beard products and other things. Just look out for new videos coming in the future about other things. So uh, I won't really go off. I'm gonna go off topic real quick. Uh, we say we do live unboxing of our on Instagram. We haven't did that in a while. Just because of the fact that we're kind of behind on things. Yeah. Um, but we did open things and we got new product in here lately. So, question of the day. Do you believe in Sasquatch? Bigfoot. I do. What is the other name? Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, Kukui? No, that's the lizard. Oh. One that eats goats. That's the, what? Okay. What? Yeah. Sasquatch! Oh, I'm not a writer. Okay. Guys, yeah. back. I'm gonna take a little drink ski. Oh yeah. So I want to go back and kind of hit certain points. If this is your first time back on our channel, welcome. And uh, also drop a like, comment, and a follow mm. if y'all like our videos. Vidya. So uh, people who have been here on the channel watching us, thank you. We appreciate your comments and your likes and just your pretty much love for our channel yeah and how we do things we really love the love man also we want to always want to give y'all's feedback if y'all have a question for us we want to try to answer it in a fast timely manner and if y'all dislike this video it's okay that's that's your opinion that it doesn't do it doesn't anything. bother us no more so with that being said let's get into this stay bearded I messed that up. Ready? Yeah, stay bearded. Ready? Stay, stay bearded. bearded. <laughs> so, we are going to be reviewing a actually a Texas brand. And he is out of El Paso. His name is Pedro Navarro. 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 He's established in 2015. And he does have a scent monthly box, in case you don't want to do that. And that company is no other than... Yes, it, it really don't show his name or company name, but it is Black Rebel Beard Co. Yeah. He is out of El Paso, Texas, just like I said. Um, so what does he sell? Um, he sells uh, beard, uh, beard care, oil, butter, wash, conditioner, and cologne. Um, like he was saying about the monthly box. Um, and also, the, you got to get their apparel, their hats, their shirts, their beanies, their... Uh, what is that? Hey, canvases. Say canvases. Mugs, bomber, jackets, and face masks. Don't yeah. they also got a beard mask as well? Or is no, that? wrong company. Oh. Wrong company. That's Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. So, price for the products. So, Their oil, one ounce is $25. Their butter, four ounce, is uh, $25. Uh, their oil and butter combo is 40 bucks. Uh, oil, butter, and wash is 60 bucks. Their uh, oil, butter, wash conditioner is 75. Cologne is 40. 
Beard wash, eight ounces, 25. Beard co-wash is eight, uh, eight ounces, also 25. Hats, 25. Beanies, 25. Shirts, 25. You get a shirt, you get a shirt, you get a shirt. <laughs> Barber jacket, 60. Face mask, 19. Mug, 17. And canvases, 40. Canvases, says. So, let's jump into some of these scents. Let's get a smell, crack them open. After this sip. <laughs> After these broadcasts. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go in order. So, which is order? First one we're gonna be reviewing is everybody's favorite scent that they everybody likes and recommends it to everybody in the beard community. That is no other than. Oh, you yes, you me yes. Cash. I love this stuff, man. This is like the best. So, uh, let's see. Cash is a barber barbershop bourbon, musk and mahogany, and. If you can't tell, it looks like a bottle of. <laughs> no, let's censor that out. Redo. So if you can't tell what it, you know, it looks like a cloudy substance. This is this is. And you know what it is? It's um, is it? Let me take over this part. Yeah. So it's seventy-five percent emu oil. Yeah. Uh, and I will throw up the rest of the ingredients on here. I know we didn't go over this yet, but let me just go ahead and get you just drop right in the consistency. Look how thick and cloudy she's a thick and this is. I mean, that is a lot of cloudiness. Clouds. Very good though. Thick with the three C's at the end. So they're butter. So actually we do have uh, the ingredients for the oil. It is Jehovah oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, argan oil, castor oil, fragrances, and essential oils. And like I said, it also has 75% emu oil yes. and 25% of those oils. And their butter is shea butter, cocoa butter, Jehovah butter or Jehovah oil. Sweet almond oil, avocado oil, argan oil, castor oil, white beeswax, vitamin E, fragrance, and essential oils. Yes, sir. Smells awesome. It really does. So, our next lineup. Four is going to be the motorcycle one. And this one is actually... A black tea and cigarish smell. To me, I get more of a cologne scent to it, but very like mm. a hint of musk, but also that that cigarish smell. Mm. It smells good. It's almost like a tiny. I don't well, know. It's weird. Well, when you say black tea, you can smell that black tea, and then you can also down is that cigar smell but yeah there is a musk to it too it's kind of like, like a cash in mixed with like our next one that we're going to review mm -hmm. and this one is one of my favorites by them and it's a subscription limited time scent and this one is no other than hendrix yeah buddy that is a sexy hendrix right that's there. a sexy man on the bottle so this one is going to be Hendrix is a black currant woody cologne. It reminds you of, of uh, mm -hmm. Woodstock, if you've ever been to Woodstock. They pretty much put Woodstock in a bottle. Yeah, that smells good. All the sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It's like if you would work at like a a uh, a wood plant, like a wood mill, mm. and you have your current uh cologne on like if it's a musky or a, a young man's cologne and you get out right after work and that's what you have smelling on your clothes is that pine or a wood smell versus with that cologne that's what i get out of this one and uh like also he said this thing is thick every single one of them with this is very thick and these scents last all day. Yes, all day. I have smelt this scent from the time I go to work, which is normally like seven, 
until when I get home, which is about like five. Okay. And when you mix it with the butter, Ooh. Mm. see, I, I've been using butter with some of their oil, and I smell this over 12 hours whenever you mix it because you get to so this like the winter time and the uh, winter time dries out your beard a lot more a lot faster versus the summer time because you don't sweat as much as in the winter time so it like dries out your beard pretty much so you want to throw in a butter or a balm on top of your oil yeah so i'll let you go over this one the yeah, new since, since you took my motorcycle one, the new i'm scent. gonna go over the new scent that they came up which i have not tried it so i have and this one is no other than Sasquatch. So the this one is a dark tobacco and oud. So you can smell right away that that dark chocolate. It smells like dark chocolate to me. So it smells really good. Yeah, even in dark the chocolate. Butter. Yeah, it smells like dark chocolate for some reason. It, it's kind of like a Hendrix, but. It, with that dark With, without that musk smell yeah yeah it's like it a very sweet good. light smell but what about like about the labeling especially oh i love i love it's their... so unique i mean look at that that's that's just sexy S sasquatch driving a brand new ford bronco yeah like come on now i mean it's not oj bronco but you know and then you got their hendrix uh what you call that uh jamming out on his guitar and then you got cash johnny with, cash with his little guitar going on flipping off the camera and the only and one that's kind of like bland to me is going to be this one the motorcycle which it has the pistons and the skull which is you know it's very you know old school i like it so because i like motorcycles and i like pistons and all that and also uh, about the containers versus his old ones which are kind of like rounded at the edge versus his new one kinda it's kind of like flat and I think it's the same jar same amount in here so it's going to be the same uh, the only thing that's different is the top the top yeah yeah so let's get back to hang on let's We're get back on topic technical <laughs> difficulties right now hang on and we are back hi <laughs> so let's just go over their main lineup which we have not tried yet we just looked at them on their website which by the way you need to go check them on their website at black rebel beard co and their instagram so black rebel. go check them out yeah so Let's go to the first one. It's called uh, Vagabond, and that is a citrusy tobacco leaf. Uh, let's go to the second one. Is also the Rebel. Uh, it's a smooth, woody oud. And then you got the Loner, which is a unscented. Um, but this is what <laughs> Pedro put in. Is he calls it boring unscented because he don't like any unscented products. Really? That, that's why he put that in oh, there. Oh, I, I didn't know if I was supposed to read that. I was like, uh, it's unscented. <laughs> um, so their next one is going to be the Go Devil, which is a sweet cider cologne. Uh, the Iron Duke is a warm woody cologne. The Hellcat is a fresh sporty cologne, which you got the Devil, you got the Iron Duke, and then you got the Hellcat, all cologne smells. And then you got the Hooligan, which is a spicy tobacco vanilla, which I will be trying that whenever I can. And then the last one that I have on the slide is the Escape, and it's a tropical pina colada. Do you like pina coladas? I'm getting some in the rain. I know. <laughs> I'm getting some in the rain. If you're not into yoga, if you have half half a brain. Okay. So another one that we haven't talked about, and this everybody raved about during Halloween, which oh. is their Beetlejuice scent. We don't have their description on that one, but everybody has loved that scent. I wonder if it's gonna smell like pumpkin or like candy smell. We gotta try it when it comes out again. Yeah, we gotta try that. Yeah. It's supposed to roll around sometime 2021. 
So, let's talk about how the product breaks down uh, and how it feels in the beard. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go pick one. You can go go with Sasquatch. I'm gonna go with Sasquatch since this is the newest one. So awesome. The product breakdown. Let's get it. So I'll put some in my hands. My amount that I'm gonna put in my beard. It's probably a little bigger than a a, a nickel. And it's very thick. So <laughs> she's thick, boys. <laughs> can you see it? There you go. Very shiny. Oh, yeah. That dark tobacco with that oud. Let's throw it in beard. So dark tobacco and oud. I thought it was chocolate. It smells like chocolate to me for some reason. So in beard, uh, my beard soaks us up so much that whenever I put some in, I immediately have to put some butter in because uh, my hair is kind of coarse. Over time, it dries out quicker. And plus, I work out in the sun and construction concrete. So, uh, how long does this product last? So, we already went over that. So, it's we're going to go over it again just because it, it lasts between six hours and 12, depending on what you're doing. Six to 12? I, I, I've had it last between six and 12, yeah, especially cash. I mean, you know, if I'm not doing anything all day, like if I'm at the house on a weekend and I put it in, in the morning when I get up, by the time I go to bed, I can still smell it. Okay. So it, it lasts between, to me, this one lasts between 6 and 12. And I don't like putting Black Rebel, especially in at night, because it's such a long-lasting scent. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wake up and smell that in the morning. I want it to be gone and nourished in my beard. And so, usually my morning routine is just push some water in the beard and then throw another product in. Well, when I put this one in at night, I had to wash my beard. <laughs> so, I didn't want to combine together. Combine smells. Uh, let's see. Let's rate the product between 1 and 10. 1 is being uh, not so good and 10 being outstanding. What do you give the rating? Oh, well, overall, I'll give it an eight. Okay. Uh, it lasts all day. That's a good a good thing. Uh, the scents are great, but sometimes they can be overpowering. Yes. Uh, their butter feels amazing. They're creamy and smooth. But I think I'm just going to give it an eight. I mean, there's nothing that I can't give any lower or any higher because... That's just that's just my opinion. Subjective. Okay. Well, I mean, technically, I can give I also give it an eight just because the it does last a lot, you know, and it is a little overpowering. But sometimes overpowering is not bad. But if you're very sensitive, I would go with the boring, unscented. Boring. Boring. <laughs> so, uh, anything, any dislikes or likes about the products? I will say uh, straight to Pedro. Keep rocking these like designs, bro. Very these unique. are these are awesome designs. I think they're outstanding. Yeah. Um, also, I would want to see more of the name of the product on the container instead of going and searching it for on the website. But I think that's the overall. And just keep rocking, man. Keep You're doing a good job. Uh, so that was pretty much. Anything that you disliked and feedback. Yeah, so we hit all, we hit both of them pretty much on the same topic. Yeah, dislike so. was I wish you would have uh, the scent already on the container, and like is your overall logos and artwork on them. Yeah, and you? Um, you agree with that? I actually do. I have nothing really negative on it, so it's two thumbs awesome. up, buddy. So we want to kind of close out here since we don't have very many products from Black Rebel. Yeah. Uh, just go check them out on their Instagram and their website. At Black Rebel Beard Co. And as always, like. Comment. And subscribe if you haven't. Go check us out on our YouTube. Hit that bell for some notifications. And just give us a uh, raw, honest feedback. You know, also check us out on our Instagram at West Texas Beard Crew. True that. So, we want to end it here. Love, peace, and chicken grease. If you didn't catch that, that is our now our slogan, motto, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. 
Peace out, Girl Scouts. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, that's my line. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Yeah.